Okay, I think we're good. I had to put you on a regular size tripod. This is literally my tripod for the DSLR. Hopefully the lighting is okay. We have a little bit of shadow from my, what do you call this? This <laughs> vent thing above the, the stove. Okay, so I know the last vlog, I went to the grocery store and I kind of showed you some stuff that I picked up, but I went to Trader Ho's. So I figured I'd show you. There's a couple items I want to also just try on camera. Thumbnail. Instead of doing like a regular Trader Joe's haul, I figured I'd just do like a compilation of stuff. So let's do it because I also went to Home Goods. First off, Kahlua pork spring rolls. I absolutely freaking love these. These are so good to me. They have a very good smoky flavor. My friend got them and I forgot what she told me, but they weren't her favorite and I forgot why. But I think she said a little bit too smoky, but it says a Hawaiian inspired spring roll with smoke flavored pork and vegetables. To me, this is so good because they've had like the same egg rolls for such a long time. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like they don't come out with like a lot of them. So I think I got two of those because I keep forgetting to buy them. I love them. They're so good. Then I picked up the mini French baguettes because the last time I was over her house for a meeting, FYI, I have the most exciting reel that launched today, which is Thursday. So if you're watching this, which is days after, obviously, when I post this, go check out my Instagram. Huge sneak peek. But she, um, whenever I'm at her house, you know, we kind of have like quick lunches or whatever, or we just share like what we have in each other's fridges. So that was in her fridge and she's like, they're so good, so I got them. Then I got a gochujang vegetable stir fry with zucchini spirals. I had no idea it was goju. Oh, I don't know if there's really gochujang in here. Broccoli, rub bell peppers, green beans, and a edamame, red pepper seasoning. Oh, okay, it is gochujang. Okay, okay, it is gochujang. So that's Korean and it's basically like the red pepper paste. So I'm excited to try this because a lot of the times I'll just buy like some vegetables fresh and then I feel like we don't use all of them up and I hate to waste. So this is good, frozen. Then I picked up, oh, this is a new one for me, the quinoa duo with vegetables and I have no idea what this is. Melange, Melange, it's a product made in, front, in France. I said in French, in France. What is that? I don't know. I just saw quinoa and I want to try to find a healthy side because I love my rice. Then I picked up the tomato feta soup and this was a little bit awkward because right when I got there, I just, it was right when you enter and I was like, oh damn, they only have one left, but I always get this and it's usually sold out lately. So I saw one, I was like, oh, and I grabbed it and I heard the lady go, oh, no more tomato soup. And I was just <laughs> When I grabbed it, I'm like, I felt like, I don't know what, but it was just so like, oh, like right behind me. And I didn't know what to do, but I knew I wasn't going to give it to her. So I guess I didn't know what to do, but it's always sold out. I haven't gone this like in a while. So yeah, I had to get the boxed one, the red pepper tomato one. Then I picked up two Chinese chicken salads. This one is my favorite. I don't like the Pasadena one. That dressing is pretty gross to me now. It's like gelatinous. Then I picked up some pepperoni because I do have some cheeses in there and then I figured maybe make it with like a sandwich, pepperoni and turkey sandwich. I've heard great things about this. The chocolate croissants, just proof, which means you just let it rise overnight and overnight and bake. Now they have an almond one and a chocolate. Now I wanted to try almonds, but I thought about Glenn and he loves chocolate croissants so much. That's like his favorite, like bakery item I think chocolate chip cookies and chocolate croissants that's it. oh and anything like chocolate chocolate like I don't know he'll like a chocolate filled donut with chocolate frosting on top with chocolate chips <laughs> he just loves it so I picked this one up because I've heard amazing things from it then I saw your tag girl I haven't messaged you yet Aaron I saw you tagged me on this. I saw it so quick in the car. Seasoning in a pickle seasoning blend with a bite of tang and dill pickle flavor. What's so funny is I've been trying a lot of pickle stuff because I just picked up those dill pickle cashews and I don't know what it is, uh, but I've been enjoying pickles more, like just like the flavor. And I didn't find the pickle chips at Trader Joe's, which I was kind of sad because I love those. They're so good. So this one just says we, um, we've a particular predilection for the pucker of a pickle that proclivity proclivity 
prod prodded us to ponder, could we provide that pickly punch in a shakeable form? Positively, give it a sprinkle wherever a supercharged dill pickle profile will pop. Fries, veggies, eggs, fried chicken, the planet is your pickle. Fries, pickle fries, oh. It's so funny because I was reading this particular, what the, blah, blah, blah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked, a Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, it was a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Ooh, secret talent, ooh, ooh. Okay, anyhow, let's try this. Boop, boop, boop. Let's just lick it. It's like a shot, a pickle shot. Oh, my friends, they told us, me and Glenn, that they wanted us to do, oh, it's very similar to the chips. So if you have kettle chips, you can just place it on the chip. Mmm. It's so good. Thank you, Eric. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. I didn't even need the pickle chips because sometimes I won't lie. Like I don't want to waste them and I can't, I definitely can't eat them like right away. It took me a while to finish them because they're very salty, but this one is still salty, but not as salty. That is so good. So if I want to put on some kettle chips or some popcorn, because I do like dill pickle popcorn, that would be it. Okay, let me put this stuff away because it's kind of defrosting fast. You want to see this wild girl right here? Look at her. She's wild. Oku, Oku, what are you doing? Ignores me like she doesn't know her name. She knows her name. Okay, next up, second bag. Whenever I get a third bag, that's when I know I kind of bought stuff I really didn't need. Some of the stuff I really didn't need, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. So I picked up some sliced, sliced brioche bread. I love this bread. <gasps> no. <sighs> oh my gosh, she runs like crazy in here. Okay. So what I was saying was before my camera ran out of uh, memory, yet again, you guys, I have so many SD cards, I need to just go through them. Um, but I picked up the brioche bread. This is the bomb for French toast. Go get this one next time. It is so good. It's thick. It's so, oh, it's amazing. Also, if you want to make almost like a Japanese style of sando, then you can do egg salad sandwich on here. It's divine. It's the best. Okay, so new one. I'm not going to open it up just because it's not resealable and I don't know, it's kind of small and I want to try it with my friends. So these are the sour cream and onion flavored rings, lentil and rice snacks. I watch a girl here on YouTube. She's very cute. She's some blonde girl and she talks all about Trader Joe's basically. And I just discovered her on my For You page on TikTok and she tried these out and she said they were really good. FYI, it's a love-hate relationship with her because so much stuff from Trader Joe's is selling out now, which kind of sucks when people just buy out a whole row. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you an item where I ended up buy. I didn't buy multiple, I just bought it again even though we still have four more in the fridge, but I usually don't do that. Um, but yeah, okay, we got the, I'll show you in a second. We have the scalloped, scalloped and potato chips with five cheeses. We're gonna try it, come on, we're almost there. Maybe it's not meant to be, maybe I'm not supposed to have these as a snack. Could be the universe telling me something. Okay, let's see. They smell like feet. Wait. I think I've had these. Have I? I don't know if I've had these. The scallop potato chips. I've definitely had the truffle ones. Mmm. Not too cheesy, and they don't taste like feet. I would buy these again because the flavor is not too intense. Hmm, I like it. What cheeses? Parmesan, cheddar, Asiago, Romano, and provolone. The best pizza ever. Go get it. You don't even need to add meat or anything like that. This is so damn good. Just split it in half and add a side salad, and it is the perfect lunch. I love it. Um, super cheesy, garlicky, and gooey, and the pesto is so good. Then I picked up some mushrooms just because I feel like mushrooms always go so bad, so I didn't get them the other day because I knew I wasn't going to make them in time, so I just got them there. 
I picked up the glazed vanilla bean scones. So my friend said that the best dessert, and I think they, I don't know if they learned this in Trader Joe's, I feel like they did, but I personally have never seen like when they have like the Trader Joe's dip. There's something with like the bruschetta and the lentil dip and then you put the feta cheese. I don't know, but it's really good because my sister-in-law brought it one time over here when we had a pool party at the house and then someone else knew about it and I had no idea, but I've never seen demos, but I feel like they do it in the back little area where they, she's, she's wild. <laughs> when they do like coffee sample, I've never witnessed it. I just like shop and I leave. I don't know if they're still doing it, but they said, you get this, you just get one each. It's like the perfect dessert. It's not too high in calorie. You get strawberries and you just sprinkle sh sprinkle sugar over them, you slice them up, and there's like a reaction where they sort of get glazed, so it's like gooey strawberries in a couple hours, and then you place that on top of the vanilla beans, go with some whipped cream, and they said it's the best dessert and it's not too heavy, so I'm gonna try it. Here's my other box. I usually don't buy multiples of stuff, but that one, ooh, it's so good. I hope that's not a limited edition. I feel like it is, though. <laughs> okay. I just tried this at my friend's house because, like I said, we just have like quick lunches or during our meetings because meetings, so we have so much to do. Um, she's playing with a rock now. Okay, after all the toys we've bought. These Impossible Nuggets, you can't even tell a difference. And I'm kind of weird on plant-based stuff. I don't like a lot of it. Like, I unfortunately thought the Impossible Burger, or no, it was the Beyond Burger. It tasted like like cat food in a patty and I'm sorry to anybody and it's not to disrespect any, anybody. I have a very wide palate. I like a lot of food except tomatoes, okay? <laughs> so when I had these, they were amazing. I couldn't even believe it. Like you dip it in sauce, you can, they're so good and I'm very picky. So if you ever wanna find something more plant-based, I ate like 10, 10 of them at our house and I got full. They're very good. I loved them. Ooh. So what I wanted to do was to trick Glenn and make these in the air fryer. She does them for eight minutes. I forgot what she said, like 375 or like 350 and then 400 for like the last two minutes or something. But they're so good. So I want to see if I make them and I give them to Glenn like as a snack or something, if he's going to say anything. I'm very curious because they taste very legit. This is a protein bar I almost didn't want to show because I think... This got sold out during like pandemic or whatever, but now there's plenty because I think people are over it, hopefully. The bar, the pro the barbells protein bar. It is so damn good. So salty peanut is definitely up there. That's probably like my second favorite, my top favorite. You guys try this. Caramel cashew, the best ever. Oh my gosh, it tastes like a freaking candy bar. You eat it and you're almost thinking, should I not eat this? So there's 20 grams of protein and no added sugar, which is really good. As you know, I'm trying to really cut back on sugars so I don't naturally crave sugar and have like a sugar addiction. So there's only two grams of sugar. Um, for the carbs, there are 19 uh, and then sodium 50 milligrams, but 200 calories for the bar. I really like this. I ended up going to the gym the other night and I just had this for dinner and I was good and I went to bed just because it was so late. So I'm trying to get into that mix because back when I was more diligent, that's what I basically did. Not every, not seven days a week, but a lot of the nights, probably like four to five, I would only have like a protein, <gasps> a protein bar for dinner and then I just knock out because I'm so tired from the day or whatever. So I'm trying to do that again and incorporate it. And then I picked up the white chocolate almonds. This is the one I haven't tried yet. And then I picked up eight cookies and cream. This one's good. It, it's pretty decent. Like for a bar, I think this is probably the best tasting cookies and cream one. But I have to tell you guys, the salty peanut, but specifically the caramel cashew. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Really good. So I just picked up two of each. Then I picked up some mozzarella cheese. I've never tried... Have I tried their mozzarella cheese? I don't know, but we needed mozzarella cheese. And then this is the item I picked up because that girl sells everything out. She did a viral video on avocado toast on hash browns and it looks so good. But these little right here, these little shits were sold out everywhere. I couldn't get them the last couple times. I finally got them the last time and they were almost sold out. 
So they had some out again today, not a lot though. So I picked up another because we still have four in the fridge and we don't eat hash browns all the time, but I don't want to have to search for hash browns. <laughs> like to me, that seems ridiculous. So TikTok is such a love hate because I feel like everybody runs out and gets everything like the soup dumplings at Trader Joe's. Not like I'm talking crap, but it was just so amusing to me for people to like discover uh, dumplings or gyoza or any of that, but the soup dumplings in particular, because Glenn and I have been eating those for years. Thank goodness we were over them by the time they went viral because they were sold out everywhere. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, these are so good. And I'm thinking, where has everyone been? Because I know lots of people shop at Trader Joe's. Like, how do you miss that whole section? Because they have been bomb, okay? They've been bomb. It's not like something new. It's not a new dish. It's definitely a dish that's been out for quite a while. A traditional dish that they brought and put it in the fr freezer section. We love them, but we're over them. Um, I love Din Tai Fung, but the line is always so crazy. When you try to make a reservation, you have to do it weeks in advance. So it's like, whoa. Um, but that was everything from Trader Joe's. Uh, let me know what are some of your favorite top things that you can't miss when when you when oh my gosh so our neighbors it was so funny the other day in our yard someone came up to me like on the side of the gate because they saw me because I was like putting bird seed in the planters and all that and I was checking on the peaches and all that and so this lady came up to me, she goes, excuse me. She's like, you have a hole in your fence. And I looked at her, I was like, that's not our fence. <laughs> and she's like, oh. I said, that's our neighbors. And she's just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Cause it looked like she was about to lecture me, you know, like this older lady, like, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, well, I'm gonna let you know, <laughs> checkmate. And she got so embarrassed, but it's because our neighbors have these dogs and they literally bit through their fence and they know about it because then I said, because they said it's broken and still not fixed. And I was curious. So I was like, oh, let me walk all the way around and I want to see him. So I went on their side of the fence and there's like a whole big hole. And then another couple came up to me. They're like, there's a hole in that neighbor's fence. I go, or there's a hole in that fence. I go, oh no, that's not mine. They're like, oh, we know that's the other neighbor. We can tell because their dog sticks their head out. We walk our little dog and you guys, I don't know. I don't want anything to happen. Like, I don't know. I don't want them, but they know because they kind of did like a weird concoction MacGyver thing, MacGyver thing where it doesn't look good though. So I'm like, I hope you fix it because it might be a liability. That's always my fear whenever we have Ewok because he's saved. And even though he has progressed so much, he's still, he's still a saved dog. He was straight off from the streets with a broken leg. So he has a lot of emotional trauma, okay? So when he's out, he freaks out and has crazy anxiety. No matter how many dogs he has been around, no matter how many same dogs he's seen a million times, he still freaks out for any dog. Unless like he gets to smell them, it take, it's like a whole process, okay? So I get very scared because I don't want him like, girl, I'm trying to show my stuff, okay? Don't break it. <laughs> so I just get worried. So yeah, but we haven't had any issues, but it was just so funny because I've never had anybody come up to me to try to tell me like, hey, and I was just like, <laughs> moved my little pawn. Sorry, you're wrong. She was very sweet about it though, but mortified. But she was coming at me like she was in like how they say, like a Karen, she was ready to come at me. Cause she always like does her little neighborhood walk every single time at the same time. So yeah, but I'm kind of worried and I wanted to tell them something, but I don't know, they really keep to themselves and we keep to ourselves too, but they really, really keep to themselves. So I'm like, I don't want to tell them anything to like start anything, you know, cause they know. They like did some little thing. Yeah, they know. <laughs> so, oh, last thing before we move on. Sparkling pineapple juice beverage. They have pineapple. It's pineapple season, you guys. Let's try it. I don't even need to make it cold. Let's just try it straight out the box. So I've tried the strawberry. I tried the watermelon. The strawberry is better. And I've also tried the green tea pineapple one. That one was okay, I liked it, it was refreshing. My friend really liked it, but I thought it was a little bit too carbonated and I love carbonation, so let's see how this one is. Instructions for enjoyment, one, sip, two, ah, uh, three, repeat, let's see, one, two, ah, three, repeat.
It's okay. I'm gonna show you my favorite pineapple drink. BRB. I'm gonna show you my favorite drink. Oh, can you not eat my pillow? Thank you. In my pineapple glass, which I love. One of my good friends got me this. This drink. Yogo Vera pineapple drink from Korea with natural juice and aloe pulp. 20 out of 10. I'm obsessed with this drink. Obsessed. It is the best ever. So there's little aloe pieces in there. You're not going to be able to see it. It's just like a regular juice, but it tastes mm, so good. Let's see if we mix. Let's make a little pineapple concoction. Pinky up. Yeah. Oh, no. No. This one's okay. Maybe if it's cold, but I can just tell from the flavor. It tastes like a pineapple sparkling water. Is this sparkling water or is it juice? No, see, it's juice. It tastes like a sparkling pineapple water. It's not the sweetest, but it's more like, you know when you don't have enough syrup in your Sprite? That's what it's kind of giving. I wouldn't repurchase them. But this, I've repurchased like 5 million times. It lasts a really long time because it's a big jug. Um, so yeah, I really like, I get this at H Mart. Okay, let me put the rest of this stuff away. Okay, so now let's go on to the home goods stuff. I'm so excited because, like I said, within these last couple of years, we have not concentrated on our home. And although we may have stuff, we just slowly started really decorating it and making it more cozy. Like, I'm obsessed with those little palm pictures right there. We got that off of Overstock, I believe we found it on. Because we couldn't find it anywhere else. So, I'm just trying to decorate everything. So, the front room, I'm trying to go for, like, tropical glam. Um, if you hear our sprinklers, we're trying to make our grass super green because it was kind of dying. And we think one of the sprinklers is not hitting the middle. So, it's getting yellow in the middle. Okay, anyhow. I'm going for, like, tropical vibe type of... What is that basket? That's a red basket Glenn left there. Bucket. Okay, get a bucket and a mom. Okay, got distracted. So I'm just trying to make it more cozy. I've been picking stuff up and just trying to decorate and just put our own spin on it. I'm really, really excited because you guys, <laughs> sometimes, you know when you just, not necessarily that we don't have the correct priorities because we definitely do. We're very responsible with like a lot of stuff, but we're totally kids at heart. So uh, we're just finally, we're just finally getting real dining room chairs for our wood dining room table. We've had this little Ikea set since we rented our last house. And yeah, we still have them and they don't match and they're super cheap, very uncomfortable. They are not it and we still have them. It's never been like, we wanted to get them, but then like everything happened in the pandemic and then we wanted to order chairs and they said, oh yeah, okay, that's gonna be four to five months to get them in. And I'm just thinking, what? Like why even get them? Like, let's just wait. So now we went today to a furniture store before Glenn had to go to work and we found them. Ooh, we found some really cute ones at Living Spaces for only 155 bucks a chair, which is very good. Because some of the ones we're looking at, they're like in the 300s and we're like, do we really need 300 something dollar chair? Like basically 400 dollars. I was like, I don't think so. Some stuff, you know what I mean? You gotta be practical, practical with, like that was silly. So we have some really nice tufted chairs coming that are high back because, ooh, I need it so bad. Um, so I'm excited. I'm going to show you all the process of everything. So I went to Home Goods. I picked up a stasher because I found this pink one, and it was $6.99. They're usually $10 at Container Store, so I picked up this little light pink one. I love this instead of using Ziploc bags because, say, like you use half an onion, half of whatever, some carrots or whatnot. I store it in here and it's perfect. So in this pouch though, what's so crazy is that you can actually steam. It's microwave safe, which I didn't even know. So you can put in the dishwasher to also wash it. So I really love it. It's also oven strong up to 400 sous vide ready. I, I just use it for like a, a half a lemon, half of onion, maybe a part of a tomato for Glenn, whatever, but they're very handy. So you don't have to always waste a Ziploc bags. Then I picked up two towels, which I'm gonna wash, these two, because we have two of these in the same exact color, like literally, I'm just thinking, did we get them at Home Goods? I thought we got them at Costco, 
But yeah, I'm just gonna get um, these washed because the other two got destroyed from the pets. <laughs> and then just the little matching little washcloth towels. Okay, that's not decor. But this is, so for the front room, what I'm thinking, because I want to keep it more on like the light glam island vibe, if that's the thing. So I got this instead of like a brown rattan, I got a white rattan so I can put like a candle, some beads, maybe some seashells, you know, just something really nice. Um, so I got that. Yeah, I think it'll look really good. I picked up these really cool bamboo storage bins. So we have a guest bathroom back here and the bins, they're kind of like wicker baskets and they don't match like the other stuff, but we have like turtles and seashells and like really nice things. So these baskets are actually gonna fit the vibe in that one because it comes with these three. So I'm gonna put like the poopery or extra toilet paper. And I picked up this and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I just really loved it. <laughs> I wasn't sure, I'm thinking like the back room or on the console. Um, I'm really into all the rattan, wicker, um, just island vibe, everything. This is only $12.99. What's so wild is when we went to Living Spaces today, there was one and I wanted. And then um, I told Glenn, hey, do you like this? He's like, yeah, get it. And I said, wait, let me see how much. $80. I said, absolutely not. I literally have six different styles in my Amazon cart right now. And he looked at me, he's like, six? I go, yeah, I'll show you right now. I said, see, I, I was looking at them last night. But then this one was only $12.99. And all the other ones I, were look, I was looking at, they were like 25 and up, 25 to like $50 range. But the, the $50 one was a large one though. So I thought this was nice. I mean, you could always just use it. It's very sturdy too, I like it. So I was thinking maybe even outside for the pool area, who knows. I'm gonna decorate those little basket things or whatever with candles or decor, something, okay, something. I also might need your opinion on some stuff in the future. Uh, I picked these up for another time when we went to go look for stuff and it's a free stir and chill and it's so cute. Look, they're little ice molds. So I thought this was adorable for like summertime and wouldn't that be cool if you put like lemon, lemon zest, lemon zest or lime zest in them? and then you freeze them. I thought that might be kind of cool for like flavored water. I don't know, but I just thought they were so adorable. So you can make four of them. I don't know what this is. I'm, oh, Glenn's so cute. Whenever he wants something, I'm like, yeah, get it. We got a little veteran cup, so I got this for him. He's like, oh, look, veteran. I'm like, okay, grab it. It was like right at the end. It was just really cute because whenever he likes something, I'm like, get it. Okay, so that is it. Um, that wasn't a lot of decor now that I show you, but I saw lots of cool bowls and all of that. I also have to take into consideration this wild one because she is going everywhere, you guys. Everywhere. Her new habit is going on our dining room table and running across it and playing with the paper bag. This is her. Oh, cool. Yep, that's her. I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's my haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know, do you guys like these random little vlogs? Okay, this clip is just in case the other one completely just stopped because I ran out of battery now. I gotta get it together, you guys, but uh, I was just vacuuming right now in jeans in this. Oh, how gross, right? I don't like doing housework in jeans. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but just in case it stopped, I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.